This is information. The proper use of it can bring a new dignity to mankind. Properly related, it can maintain a balance between man's needs and his resources. In many aspects, these are information machines capable of storing, processing, and relating a vast quantity of information. They process information so that it can be made meaningful at the human scale. We have increasingly uh, uh, augmented our capacity for producing uh, information, classifying it, collecting it, archiving it, uh, and we are increasingly generating more and more of it, but we cannot increase with our traditional tools, with the same tools as ever, our capacities of comprehension and analysis. Como é que você faz? Como é que você entende todo esse mar de números? Né? É muito bom a gente ter essas informações é, disponíveis para a gente online, mas a gente tem que ter algum tipo de tradutor para que a gente consiga lidar com essas informações numa escala humana. And computation is, is a very important tool in terms of analyzing and also displaying data. So it makes sense that if we're going to need to face a much more level of complexity in our relationship with uh, all the systems in our culture, we also need a new syntax, a new language. And data visualization is so far the best thing that we seem to have. Um desses tradutores que a gente pode usar é essa tecnologia chamada visualização de dados, que pega esse número, esse, esse mar de números, né, e transforma, pinta uma imagem que te permite entender coisas como tendências, anomalias, o que é normal, o que é anormal uh, nessa, nessas informações que você está olhando. idea about the ease of data, like the ease of access to data is very new, and the ease of access for like, you know, the whole world to be able to make charts or graphs is, is relatively new, right, you know, like I think Excel really revolutionized that, but now other tools as well, like when you want to move into, you know, fancier stuff. If people put data onto the web, government data, scientific data, community data, whatever it is, it will be used by other people to do wonderful things in ways that they never could have imagined. There is an open data movement afoot now around the world. The cry of raw data now, which I made people made in the auditorium, was heard around the world. Realmente, se a gente está numa revolução, a gente tem que ter consciência dessa revolução. Não adianta só você me encher de planilha de números se eu não sei ler essas planilhas e se eu não sei uh, entender o que você está querendo me dizer com todos esses dados. Né? Então, visualização é uma maneira da gente tentar começar a interagir com essa riqueza de informação. Every weekday, for 12 years, Harold would brush each of his 32 teeth 76 times. 38 times back and forth, 38 times up and down. Um, one of my favorite artists um, is this guy, Nicholas Felton, who d uh, creates these uh, things called the annual reports. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but he basically makes these annual reports of his life. Uh, he obsessively tracks every detail of what, how many beers he's had, what streets he's been on, and hand designs these beautiful uh, booklets uh, once a year in January every year that he publishes and sells, the Felton Report, I believe it's called. And he just recently started using, I met him in New York recently, and he recently started using processing because there are certain things, you know, it's, for him, his work, I believe, is really about meticulous detail, and I'm sure he just loves tweaking little things in Illustrator and making it perfect, and he should be able to do that, but there's certain certain aspects of analyzing and looking at his data that what he, one of the things he was showing me was this sort of diagram that it would have taken weeks to do in processing, um, I'm sorry, by hand, and he could do it almost instantly in processing. But it's not just about saving time. There's certain things you can discover and create and be creative with through computation that you can't uh, with by hand. They're, they both go together. 
I mean, I think it's really our ability to reveal some patterns or provide context, like in a in a visual or a visceral way, right? Like to uh, to be able to see structure. I think one of our you know our some of our most successful data visualizations are the ones that allow you to uncover some kind of relationships or structure or patterns uh, that would be very difficult to describe in words or in just or in a photograph. Let's see how they operate. First, input. Next, processing. Electronic data processing. This is the billion dollar ogram. And this image arose out of frustration I had with the reporting of billion dollar amounts in the press. That is, they're meaningless without context. 500 billion for this pipeline, 20 billion for this war. It doesn't make any sense. So the only way to understand it is visually and relatively. So I scraped a load of reported figures from various news outlets and then scaled the boxes according to those amounts. And the colors here represent the motivation behind the money. So purple is uh, fighting and red is giving money away and green is profiteering. And what you can see straight away is you start to have a different relationship to the numbers. You can literally see them. To extend the range of human eyesight, man developed marvelously sensitive instruments. As a function of design, the calculator provides creative man a higher platform upon which to stand and from which to work. Our tools, these tools we're talking about, allow us to produce more insightful, more powerful, more broad-ranging visualizations simply by allowing the user to explore. The more work that I do in that um, space, uh, the more I'm finding that it's, it's really even uh, much less about how you uh, ways in which you actually present the information than it is ways that you actually navigate through the information and, and interact with it. A lot of the paradigms that we use for data visualization are still print paradigms where you have a, you have a page that's static and you make your visualization and then you're done with it. The data visualization is about looking at data from different angles and that allows people to look at the data in a way that they hadn't been able to look at it before go through this big jumble of, of events and stitch them together into these cascades and then view these cascades and maybe find some insight about how people are sharing times content and how people share content in general. For a long time in the world of numbers, man has been developing tools to help him handle increasing amounts of data. Something has now emerged that might make even our most elegant theories work. A tool which has broadened the range of man's concepts and intuition, much the way other tools have broadened man's... With the computer, as with any tool, the concept and direction must come from the man. The task that is set and the data that is given must be man's decision and his responsibility. 